when registering an aircraft in ASA, they will ask for the impact energy. Impact energy is the kinetic energy of the aircraft assumed to reach its terminal velocity, that is, the speed at which the air resistance equals the weight of the aircraft. This speed is calculated with the following formula, which depends on the weight of the aircraft, the area exposed to the air, the density of the air and the drag coefficient. If we merge both formulas, we get the impact energy as a function of area, mass, density, and drag coefficient. In the case of drones, Various researchers have found the terminal velocity of Mavic Pro type drones at about 16 meters per second. This let us to calculate the impact energy using the formula for kinetic energy. However, there are recordings of these drones in free fall reaching about 20 meters per second. This last value would maximize the impact energy. If our drone is very different from these, because it has a greater mass, or because it has a very different geometry, then we would have to use the formula of the impact energy as a function of the drag coefficient. This is quite complicated. The only experimental research carried out on this coefficient in drones, found quite low values. The smallest of them, which maximizes the terminal velocity, is approximately 0.05. However, the typical fall of a drone, which is usually on the belly and with auto-rotation and auto-rotation of the propellers, would give a much higher effective drag coefficient. For example, if we assume that a Mavic Pro has a floor area of 0.02 square meters, and falls at 20 meters per second, it follows that it has an effective drag coefficient of 1.84. In the case of an airplane, it is very likely that it will fall head first. Thus, the area to be introduced is that of its front view, which coincides with the smallest possible area exposed to air. The drag coefficient of an airplane will range between 0.02 and 0.05. Again, we should take the smallest of the values, which is the one that maximizes the terminal velocity. As air density, we will take the value of 1.2, which is the density of air at 20 degrees and 1 atmosphere of pressure. However, this whole approach has a problem. Because the regulatory framework will not let us fly our aircraft above 120 meters. A drone falling from 120 meters probably will not reach the terminal speed. For example, a skydiver in the belly-to-earth position takes 12 seconds to acquire his terminal velocity, during which he travels 450 meters. Then, he acquires a speed limit of about 54 meters per second. This means that the impact energies with falls from 120 meters will be lower than those calculated theoretically. And that is all. Thank you.